What's up guys, today I'm going to show you the Android 4.2.2 update for the HTC One. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So as you probably know from the start of the video, um, Android version for the HTC One got updated to 4.2.2 with the Sense 5 skin over the top as well. So we're going to go ahead and show you some of the new features with this as well and some of the main features as well. So first of all, um, we're going to go ahead and show you the battery percentage. And as you can see, up in the top corner, I've got the battery percentage. Now, this has been integrated into Sense 5. Now, if you previously can see, I've got the Battery Rebone Pro widget, which uh, gave me that feature. But now there's no need for that, and it's great that it's integrated into Sense 5. So all you've got to do to activate this is go into the power options. And you can see that we've got the battery level right there. So we just activate that there, and then we can obviously get that feature. So that's quite nice to see. Um, another thing that I was going to sh show you guys is the lock screen. Now, the lock screen has got the lock screen widgets. Now, if you go over to here, the lock screen style, uh, you'll be able to see that we can add the show the lock screen widget option. Now, you only get to have one lock screen uh, widget, unfortunately, but it is great uh, than having none there. So if you go into the settings with that, you can obviously choose your widget. Now, if I choose Google now, it will be on my lock screen, now, as you can see, like so. So that is something nice to see uh, with Sense 5 and I'm really impressed with that as well. Now um, another thing that I'm going to show you is the home button, something that everybody was talking about. Now if you can see there as well we've got the daydream so as you can see you can choose whatever you would like right there and mess about with the settings. Now like I said before the home button, now with the home button you can swipe up or press and hold for Google now. Or you can swipe up for Google now and press and hold to the menu now which I've got that. Now basically what that will allow you to do, remember the black bar that you get with the HTC devices with Sense 5. And basically instead of pressing that, that will be disappeared. And you can actually just press the um, hold, sorry, the um, home button as you can see like so. And it'll bring up the menu. And that uh, bar will be disappeared from all your applications so you get a big uh, full screen application which is quite nice to see. Now there are loads of new features now, I've not gone through all of them because I've been playing around with it, but as you can see we get the toggles right there, and I'm really impressed with the toggles, that's just uh, purely because of uh, I tried to find some toggles, now they don't look really nice on my HTC One, the actual Sense 5 toggles, so that's why I'm really liking the Android toggles in the notification bar, and I think it just looks really nice. Last but not least, what I'm going to go ahead and show you guys is the keyboard. Now um, we do have the swipe keyboard as you can see if we just go into here like so you can see if we add the trace keyboard on so that's basically swipe uh, and it works really nicely as well you get some uh, customization as well so if you click on advance you can choose the trace color to be any color you would like so if we just choose red and I'll give you a demonstration right now so if we go into here and just click new and uh, you'll be able to see if I just go ahead and click high as you can see uh, the color is there and it's been changed. Um, let's just go ahead and do a demonstration again, as you can see. And if I go ahead and change it as well into the settings panel, um, you can obviously get a different color. The default color is set to yellow. Um, I don't know why, but that's how it is. So as you can see, it's gone blue right now. So I'm really impressed with these features for the HTC One, and I'm really liking it as well. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section as well. These are not all the features, however, these are the main ones. And you also get a um, camera autofocus, which I'll just show you quickly as well. You get to um, get the exposure with the camera and everything, lock it, and do all that good stuff. So if I just go ahead and lock it, as you can see, the exposure and the autofocus is locked. That's quite nice to see as well. Last but not least, you do get the photosphere option as well. That's just something to mention, but that's about it. That's all the noticeable changes that I can see from just playing with it for a couple of hours and everything like that. Um, so yeah, guys, leave a, a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. Hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye-bye.